This is N. Nagendra Prasad TGT English from TTW URJC Boys Thirmalai Pala English Year School. Day 6 Spoken English. We miss, we skip a class on Saturday due to some technical reasons. From today onwards, uh, we will continue all the classes. Boys, I hope uh, all of you did good practice on do and does at your village learning circuits. Hope you will be continuing all the classes regularly. Today, let's learn did, did as main, did is used as main verb to express a single past action, okay, why, did, why do you, we use did to express, to express a single past action as main verb. For example, I did my work last Sunday. Okay. Here, the verb did, did is used here as main verb. Okay. Another example. She did her work yesterday. Here also did is as main verb. Did is used to add question tag in simple past tense also. Let me give examples. Ravi came late to school. Of course, yesterday or day before yesterday. Sorry, it's not Ravi, Ravali. Came late to school. Didn't she? Look, children. Here, the verb is came. Came means we do. We have already discussed that V2 is equal to did plus V1. In simple past tense, tense, I give the formula. So, whenever we find V2 in the given sentence, we have to use did in the question tag. As it is the positive statement, we have to take negative tag. So, I write here didn't. Children, I repeat didn't. Did plus not. Don't say didn't. The pronunciation is didn't. Didn't she. Look, Ravali is a female gender. So, I use pronoun third person singular she. Didn't she. Okay, another example. Kumar did not play the field. In this sentence, did is used as helping verb. Play is the main verb. This is a negative statement. So, in the tag, I used did he. I bring this did here. And uh, Kumar is third person singular, male gender. So, I use the pronoun he. Now, did as a main helping verb. Did as helping verb. Did is used as helping verb to form negative and question sentences. Understand boys? Did is used as helping verb. To form negative sentences and question sentences. Let me use some examples. 
first day we did not work together last year here did is used as helping second example did they work together last year it is a question sentence in this sentence did is used as helping verb third where did you work together in this sentence also did is a helping verb the fourth one you didn't come yesterday this is a negative sentence here we use it did as helping verb children do you understand how did is used as main verb as helping verb generally did is used as helping verb in negatives and questions and question tags good let me give a modal conversation modal conversation in informal way hi the conversation between two friends hi hi i didn't look here i didn't find you in the class yesterday did you children what do you mean by this sentence i didn't find you in the class yesterday means you might not attend class yesterday it's i suppose means somebody may be absent from the class he doubted and add a small tag did you means did you come yesterday or not that is the question of a then what's the reply of b yeah i didn't i went to a party oh we understood that b went to a party that's why he didn't come to school yesterday whose was it whose was it means whose party and what party was it but what party doesn't express here whose was it it's my cousins look here it's what does it mean it has two meanings its means it is the contrast form of it was or it is one cousins here cousins means something belongs to cousin the apostrophe here shows the possessive case whereas the apostrophe shows here the contrasted form i hope you understand it's my cousins means it's my cousins birthday party or some other party did you get fun or did you enjoy the party he asked whether he enjoyed the party or not of course who didn't we reply of course of course means i enjoyed but i missed the classes he regret to miss the class then ye don't worry i help you to understand them and give you my notes understand them here them means the classes children i help you means i am going to help you and give you means i am going to give you my notes one more way of understanding is i help you means i shall help you it's a near future action and give you means i shall give you okay thank you very much it's all right bye see you tomorrow okay boys did you understand did you understand 
how I use did in this sentence. Just to know this. And do practice with your friends or sisters or brothers at your village learning centers or at home this conversation. And prepare some more conversations using did. And do practice to enrich your communicative skills. Thank you very much. Until then, have a nice day.